Next bit of news out of Lahore, Pakistan. Court sentences Lahore man to death over blasphemy. In 2016, police had filed a first information report against a man identified as Salim under Section 295C of the Pakistan Penal Code after he uttered blasphemous remarks in public place in Lahore Gate area. According to Deputy Prosecutor General Mohammed Amjad, 12 witnesses had recorded testimonies against Salim. Six of the testimonies had been recorded in court, while the other half were recorded via video link due to security concerns. The court sentenced him to death in a three-year-old blasphemy case, and he was fined 200 thousand rs so um okay just to kind of let you guys know what's going on here there is no proof other than some people coming around saying yes what he said was blasphemous all right this isn't recorded on paper it wasn't recorded on video it wasn't recorded anywhere he said something that others took as blasphemous and it has been three years that's why i'm reporting on this now even though this happened in 2016 uh is he's now been sentenced to death mm. So he was in jail for three years, waiting for a sentence, and they confirm now that he's... Even though they don't have any... I mean, this is sad to say for us that, oh, they don't even have an evidence, as if that was, should make a difference. I mean, sentence to death for blasphemy. What did he say, what did he say allegedly? You know? Alleg allegedly just blasphemous remarks. And I think the reason why they're not getting specific anywhere, no one knows exactly what this man said, is because... 12 people probably didn't get the story straight, mm. but they're just like uh, 12 people say it was blasphemous. So, and, and I also want to add here that this man, half of the trial, um, while some testimonies were via video link and some were in court, he was not always allowed in court. He had to stay in jail for a lot of the trial um, because they didn't want him leaving for security purposes. What the hell? What just for talking. When um, when is he supposed to be executed? They haven't said. Is there anything that we we can do? What's his name again? Uh, th they're only releasing his name as Salim. So we so, don't even know who this guy is. It, no, they're they're not they're not releasing a lot of information. And I think that what we could do, um, all of us as right to groups like Amnesty International, right to people to get the word out on him and kind of help put some pressure um, on the government. Because the, if anyone knows people from Pakistan, and we have consulates in Pakistan, and uh, we had a great member of our team that killed himself in Pakistan because um, the way things are there are so hard when it comes to religion. If you say anything blasphemous, you're looking at jail, you're looking at death. And, and you know it, whether it be on Facebook and you delete it really quick, but if someone snapped a screenshot of it, they'll report you. Um, you could say it wasn't me sitting at the computer making that remark. This is a Photoshopped thing. It doesn't matter. You're in jail. Uh, there's, there's no way to get out of it. If you don't like someone, you can claim blasphemy. They'll get arrested, even if you have no proof. Uh, so this, this is just one story of, of hundreds that we hear constantly coming out of Pakistan. The government sends out texts reminding people that if they see or hear anything blasphemous, here's a link for you to report it. What the hell? Instead of saying... Oh. God, that, like, I don't know what, I, I, I'm honestly, like, sometimes I feel like giving up, like, any, like, I'm out of, I'm out of ideas with this, because we don't even know who this guy is, like, how could we even start defending, we don't have any pictures of him, because usually people, you know, if you want to start a campaign to bring attention to somebody, usually, it just, I, I've noticed that if you have a picture of them, it works a lot more, like, now, look, even the picture that they have is a stock image, right? Because they don't have any pictures of the guy. Well, and, and I'm worried personally for the writer, Rana Bilal, of this article. Um, I hope that's just a pin name because her even reporting details might get her in trouble. I mean, this is not going to get uh, enough attention because, like, who was that lady that just got out recently from Pakistan that was on death row? Like, at least she, she got so much attention, right? Which is good because that managed to help get her out. What was her name? Right. God damn it. Uh, 
but but this guy is not gonna get nearly as much attention and he needs it even more because she at least got like she didn't get the death sentence right but this guy is getting the death sentence and i don't even know how much time he has and i don't even know what we can do like it's it's uh insane. i know ah god damn it pakistan what the hell is wrong with you and uh, you know if if the court hadn't sentenced him to death in Pakistan, you have to worry about mob justice. Yeah, I that's mean, what that lady had to do. Oh, Asia, Asia Bibi, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Like, she, she she, didn't get the death sentence and she was freed, but she had to get out of Pakistan ASAP because the and mob, the Muslim, you know, the mob would have gotten her outside of the jail. But I guess the situation with regards to the how sensitive the Muslim community is is so bad that the UK said that we don't want her. Because they were like, it's a, she's a security concern because we don't know how our Muslims are going to react. UK, the United Kingdom was not giving like asylum to her because they were like, oh, we don't trust our own Muslims. Like, what does that say about how, <laughs> how, how, yeah, God damn it. But, um, but this guy is way worse situation because I see a bit with the government, the court said that no, we don't have enough proof for blasphemy. So we can't, exec we can't execute her. This poor guy, no death sentence, so he's fucked. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Like, there is no way that I don't think he could get a lawyer because then the lawyer would get death threats, right? Absolutely. In Pakistan, absolutely. Yeah, so he, this guy's fucked. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't think there's any. I'm, I mean, it might be very cold and sad for me to say. I know people wouldn't like it, but I don't think there's anything that could be done, and this guy's fucked. This guy is absolutely fucked. Um, well, I, I'm the opposite of you. I always think there's hope. So if anyone feels like taking this, uh, taking this article, taking the name Salim um, to Amnesty International, let them know what's going on. See if someone can find out more information. See if somebody can do something to start bringing some attention to this case before it's too late. It's, so, it's, it's too it's late. That's all we can do. Yeah, it was already too late. Chris is saying, me too, our men. Some days overwhelming. There is so... Uh, much work to do to save this world from magical thinking. Yeah, sometimes there's so much that you feel like, you know what, fuck it, but then you keep doing it, I don't know. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.